All right, so welcome to the beginner watercolor anemone tutorial. We're gonna get straight into this. You do not have to have any experience in watercolor. So we're gonna go over the materials right now. Um, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper towel. You're gonna fold that in half. You're gonna need that for when you're doing your painting. As well, you're gonna need set of watercolors. I got this one from Curry's and it costs very much. Um, this one comes together. You don't have to get one like this. You just need one that just has a few simple colors that we're going to be using. Okay, you're also going to need a brush pen. This one I also got from Curry's. You can find them at your local art store. And you just fill it up with water instead of the vessel. And then you're also going to need a micron pen, any type of um, waterproof black pen. You can normally get like a Sharpie. Those are really good as well. Um, I'm just using a regular pencil just for, to show you. I normally have a very specialized one, but this one's fine. You just need a pencil and eraser. And then um, you're gonna have two sheets of paper. Um, I'm using watercolor paper. It works really good because you're able to um, paint without having the paper buckle. Okay, right now we're going to be starting with some simple exercises just to loosen you up a bit while you're sketching. So using the pencil, I'm just lightly doing some swirly lines, almost like a cursive E or an L, and you're just going to keep on going all the way down the paper. Next, we're going to be doing some very um, jagged lines, just up and down, up and down. We're just loosening up and we're going to be using some of these um, when we're going to be creating uh, the drawing after the painting of the peony. So uh, right now I'm just doing some dots here, okay, it doesn't have to be in any sort of um, pattern, you're just going to be doing some dots. and. Now I'm just going to be using the marker just to make it a little bit darker for you so you can see what's going on here. I'm just continuing on with it. So we're going to be doing some more swirly lines. Again. And we're just going to continue until we feel ready to start the painting. So now we're finished our warm-up. We're going to be heading into um, starting the painting. So we're just going to put that paper aside. And using our watercolor paper, we're going to start the outline so we can create this flower. It's really simple. Um, one of the things that you will learn in the artisanal course is that um, everything is made out of simple shapes. So using that method, we're going to be able to create this beautiful flower. All right, so using our pencil, we're gonna do a really light circle. We're gonna draw a really, really light circle, okay? These are construction lines, so we don't need to press down very hard, just be very light on the paper. So right now, I'm just doing the outer circle, and this is gonna be the size of the flower. 
And then now we're going to do a smaller circle, which is going to be in the middle. It's going to be kind of like a donut. We're drawing a donut. Now we're going to draw four small circles within that circle. Okay? Now using the same dots that we were um, using during our warm up, we're going to fill in those little mini circles. Right now we're kind of mapping out exactly what we're going to be drawing once we get to the marker or to the pen. Okay, and now we're going to take the pencil again and we're going to start to sketch out the inner petals. Okay, and we're just going to be doing like a really large curve. Okay, and try to ensure that you are overlapping each of the petals. Just really lightly. I just did about five there. And now from outside of them, we're going to be doing um, petals are going to be sitting right behind. So we're going to be going from the middle of one petal to the other. So see ourselves at the middle, then well towards the middle. And you're just going to continue all the way around. They don't have to be as long as the inner petals. They're just right behind, so you don't have to make them huge. And now we're going to continue on with our third all the way around using the outside circle that we had drawn as a reference. And if you need to pause while you're doing your drawing, that's no problem. You just take your time, make sure you're doing it at your own pace. Okay, now we're gonna be drawing the leaves. So right now I'm just starting from um, pretty much almost like the stem or the middle of the leaf. Okay, and then using those jagged lines that we were using um, during the warm up, I'm going to be drawing the outer. So think about each leaf as a teardrop. But you don't have to start from the very base of a teardrop, you kind of make it wide so you kind of hide the, the other end of it. So we're drawing two big teardrops essentially using our pencil. So now we're done with the pencil, we're going to be moving on to using our Micron pen. And we're going to use that pen to define all of the construction lines that we had created before. So right now I'm just using the pen to outline the middle and I'm going to be filling in all of the dots. And we're just going to continue to fill it in as we go until we get into the painting. All right, so we just finished drawing up the petals and right now I'm just going to be adding in a little something extra. And you're just going to be really light on your 
pen as you go all the way around. You're going to notice that I'm going to be adding some details that we did not do construction lines for and that's okay. It just makes it a little bit easier um, once we get into the painting. So it's just going to be little details. Just be sure that you're really, really light on your marker. You don't have to make very dark lines um, while you're creating those little extra details. Alright, so now that we're done using the pen, we're going to be using our eraser and we're going to remove all of those construction lines because we don't need them anymore because we're going to be heading into the watercolor portion of this painting. So for the watercolor, you really don't have to have a lot of experience with watercolor. We're going to be keeping it super simple and by that I mean we're going to be using whatever colors you have. So we're not going to be going deep into color theory right now. That's for a future video. Right now, I just want you to have fun getting familiar with watercolor, how it acts, how it reacts. Sometimes you can be very dark with your watercolor. Sometimes you'll have it really loose because you have a lot more water that you're using with it. But you're going to really love this. Right now, I'm just going to be using red. I'm going to be doing a red anemone. It's going to look really, really cute. Um, and what we're going to be using is our brush pen okay and just make sure you filled it up with water and the way that these work is that you pretty much just lightly press on them um, and while you're going to be use, um, choosing whatever color inside of the pan and when you lightly press on it the water will be coming through on the brush and then you just swish swish like that until you activate the color and then you're ready to paint okay I'm just going to dab mine very, very lightly on the paper towel that we already folded and prepared on the side, and then I'm going to proceed with the watercolor. So since it's my brightest color, I'm just going to start with the petals and just being really loose. I don't really care if there's um, if it's not completely painted over, if there's any white areas, that's fine. To me, I feel like that makes it even more beautiful. It shows all of the light reflecting off of it. And just have fun with it. You can do whatever color you want with your anemone. You can go purple, blue, whatever. I, I do really don't care. That's the beauty of art. You're not held or restricted by any rules. You're just going to have fun and create something beautiful that you can be proud of. So now we're going to be working on the leaves. So for this one, just follow along with whatever colors I'm using. I'm going to be starting with a yellow base for the leaves, just to add a little dimension to it. And then I'm going to be using a bit of green. Okay, so just follow along. It's really simple.
right, so now I'm just going to be using the pen again in order to get these little folds in the, the petals. It's really, really easy. So now that it's dry for the outer leaves, inside still drying, that doesn't really matter. You'll see me, I <laughs> probably should do that, but I did it anyways because I'm not too worried about um, if the, the paint starts to, to pull away, if it starts to drip a bit. I don't really worry about that. Um, instead, I'm just going to draw on the, the dry sections of the red petals, okay? So just from the outer, we're just going to be doing these very loose lines. You see how I stop from the middle and then I make my way again. It takes a little bit of practice in order to get to kind of look realistic, but just take a look at how I'm forming each one of these folds. Just to make it look like it's kind of folding inwards. It does not have to be perfect. And that is the beauty of a flower. A flower is gorgeous, but it's not perfect. So if while you're painting this, you're like, oh man, it doesn't look the way I want it to look, that's okay. You keep trying. And remember that it will look even more beautiful the, little, the less you focus on perfection. All right, so we have reached the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Artisanal Sketch. And if you could also post a picture of your painting and just hashtag Artisanal Sketch, you just might get featured on our page. So thank you so much and your support is greatly appreciated. See you guys at the next video.